In this brief demonstration, we're going to walk through the Link Doc employee onboarding. This process begins with uh, an HR manager requesting the hire of a new employee. So, for example, the employee has already filled out uh, an application using uh, a Link Doc employment app, and they've already accepted their offer. So, this at this point in the demonstration, we're uh, uh, merely looking at from the perspective of the hiring manager now initiating a request to the employee for, for hire. So the first step is the uh, hiring manager is going to log in and run the link doc form. They're going to be presented with uh, uh, some employee information which they're going to uh, fill out a social security number and, and search for that employee's information from the employment applicant database. They're going to walk through and they're going to put in a new employee ID for that uh, uh, new employee. They're going to set the uh, full-time status, the number of hours, and they're going to walk through and, and fill out uh, the rest of this um, uh, request for the new employee to fill out additional uh, documents. So I'm just going to walk through and this is going to dynamically pull in information from external data sources. So as the user fills this out, it's automatically going to search for information and pull in the rates, and we can put um, uh, input constraints around these rates to make sure that uh, they fall in range that uh, the uh, uh, employer has set. So now I'm going to come down here and answer the last set of questions, and then I'm going to click Submit. And this is going to uh, generate the documents and send the user or the prospective employee an email with uh, additional information for them to fill out. So now, uh, if I now switch gears to the uh, employee, you'll see that um, I'm going to log into this particular employee's uh, inbox and I get an email from the YMCA saying, Welcome to the YMCA. Now I'm going to um, show the employee side of things. So now I'm ex I've already accepted the offer, and now I need to fill out all of my onboarding paperwork. So I'm going to go ahead and click the link, and this is going to bring me uh, to a secure link for, uh, to fill out my information as the employee. So you'll see some additional information that the uh, employer didn't see that they can then go ahead and fill out. You'll see that uh, the employment information is now read-only, so I can't change any of it. I can put in my emergency contact information. I can then walk through and fill out uh, the W-4. The W-4 we're going to fill out in an intuitive way. So, can anyone claim as a dependent? No. Do you have more than one job? No. Uh, this is dynamic in nature, so if I'm uh, married, I should see questions about my spouse, but if I'm single, I shouldn't see those questions. So this is a smart interface that's going to step me through that process. If I have kids, then I should uh, gather the information about my dependents. If I don't have kids, I shouldn't uh, see that information and it's going to total up all of my allowances for me. I'm going to come down here and fill out uh, the rest of this form. Uh, employee uh, sponsored uh, health insurance, yes or no. And then I'm going to fill out the disclaimers, so uh, drug-free acknowledgement, yes or no. And then coming down here to the code of conduct. And if I said no to any of those, the system would stop me at this point. So now as the employee, I'm going to submit this, and I actually missed a required field, so I can scroll back up and look at what I missed. So under the direct deposit information, I had skipped over uh, the bank account type. So I'm going to go ahead and select checking, and then come back down here and again click submit. And this is going to generate all of the required documents that I need uh, to be filled out. So it's going to dynamically assemble all that information, it's going to decide which forms I need, and it's going to uh, push all of the data that I filled out into those forms. Now you'll notice there's a signature here, so I need to go ahead and sign this. So as the employee, I'm going to click the Sign button, and there's a number of signatures in all of these different documents that, uh, that I need to sign. I have the option of going in and signing each one individually, or click the Sign All button. This will allow me to, uh, to go in and uh, use my mouse. For demonstration purposes, we use a, a mouse signature, but you can use uh, an iPad signature. You can also use a click wrap signature um, or a Topaz signature pad. 
So we integrate with Topaz Signature Pads to allow you to uh, capture uh, that signature on a device like that. So now you'll see that uh, I've signed the document. And uh, what happens at this point is the, these documents are then written to a document management system like DocuWare. So if I were to come into DocuWare and uh, click search, you'll see there's a new uh, document for John Doe and that document has been has been signed. So now I'm in DocuWare and I now want to go in as the approving manager uh, or the supervisor and I want to approve this document. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click the show link documents uh, button and this is going to allow me to execute some functions in LinkDoc. I can sign this, but I want to apply an approval step in the process. So I actually want to approve the document, then sign it. So I'm going to click this edit uh, option here. And this is going to take me again into a secure link and allow me to approve this. So I see the, the pertinent information that I need to review, nothing else. I don't see any of the employees additional information I just see their their pay information and I can come down here and I can put in a decision so I'm gonna say accept and then I'm going to click submit and you will also notice while that's uh, building out you also notice I got an email so I can look and I can fire uh, an email off and and approve it this way or I can approve it right from within DocuWare so now you'll see that uh, it has generated the documents. I see the employee signature. All the fields that were associated with that signature were locked before uh, generation. So now as the hiring manager, I can come in here and I can click sign. And uh, this will allow me to, to sign the document as the hiring manager. So now I'm going to jump back to, uh, to DocuWare once this is generated and you can see that there's my signature on the document. If I come back to DocuWare, I'm going to uh, refresh this document, and there you see I've, um, uh, I've got the, the signature and the document back into DocuWare. So the basic process is I fill everything out, I can go through a multi-stage approval, and it's all done through bi-directional communication with, uh, with DocuWare. I can save the documents in DocuWare, pull them up, edit them, and then apply my approval process from there. So that basically wraps up the demonstration. Uh, if you want any additional information, you can uh, visit our website at www.linkware.com or you can email us at support at linkware.com or you can call us 585-563-1669. Thanks for watching this demo.